all right guys welcome back to the channel it is like 7 20 in the morning it's the first day well the first official day of peaches to the beaches route yard sale and me and my buddy paul that guy can you oh. tell i'm wearing anything i feel like i blend in it blends in perfectly <laughs> i wear all black because i'm a big chicken and i like it to blend in better and not stick out so much like a sore thumb but we're at our first yard sale that happens to be indoor there's like 80 percent chance of rain today but we are definitely not going to let that stop us no. i've got my hat on to kind of protect the gopro a smidge rooney maybe not so much by the way if you're new here we pick stuff from yard sales and flip it on ebay let's go hello are we early all right great thanks Love that. The early bird gets warm. That's <laughs> right. Y'all know how it goes. Oh, wow. Yes. Hello. Hi. 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 Wow. Yes. Whoa. All right. Go, go, go. It is dark. The night is dark. I'm full of trying to see what I need to go to first, but I can't even. Wow. This is a lot of stuff. Okay. Just going to go this way. I see Pioneer Woman right off the bat. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. I sold this one before. <laughs> well, it's $25. I was just showing you. <laughs> no, not that lucky. Those are some sharp ariettes too, but. Looks like it. From here, anyways. Is it scratched up though from the inside? Because those are. Let me see it. Inside. Yeah, I see that. It's almost. One that's, that's not one cell. Dude, no. Like. I see this thing for you. Yeah. If there's any scratches at all, but you should show your people that sign. In general, guys. This all cloud right here is such a bolo, but if the anodized stuff inside is scratched at all, you cannot sell them. Can't hardly give them away, really. <laughs> like this is probably like so ten bucks. At the auction house, goes for hot for a time. Goes for what? People always bid like crazy on this. Yeah. Stuff. I, I don't know why though. Most of the time when I'm at yard sales, all I see is lodge. Like this, I know Griswold's good and all, but that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's all I know about that. Cast iron is definitely not my forte. Like some of these do decent and most of them don't. Most of that stuff people know is worth money, so they price it up pretty high. We got some steep prices in here though. There's a bows. Oh, I sold that one. This exact one? Exact one. Sold for one. It's four dollars. One dollar. I sold a huge lot of Imaginex not too long ago for like six. I paid fourteen dollars for all these Imaginex characters. I'm gonna turn that into over a hundred dollars. I know. <laughs> We're here when it's still stacked up, which is a good right. problem and a bad problem at the same time. <laughs> Just turn around and like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to set this up. down. I'm gonna set 
my little stuff right here, okay? Ooh, that bag of toys had me full already. I wasn't so far away, I would take both those mirrors. Oh, where he lived? Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> did y'all come down just for this? We did. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? You be prepared. Yeah. Well, I drive a Prius, so there's only so prepared I can be. <laughs> <laughs> my friend in there, he came all the way down from Philadelphia. Oh, wow. That is so neat. Yeah. We're serious yard sellers. I love it. <laughs> I have so much stuff. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Old century pinball. Dick through all this plush right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that hawk. Kinsley would kill me for not getting her that. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm regretting the coat already. I tell you that. Mushmallows. Never heard of that one. What do you call this thing? Massager. Heat. Heat gun. Heat therapy massage. I think I said that like 25 before. This one right here? Yeah. Okay, it's 10 bucks. But it was like a box. Yeah. Right Look at those prices. One's used for 80 bucks, it's $2. When it comes to used hair straighteners, you should always take a second to run comps on those with unique colored hot plates. Blue, copper, white, gold. Definitely worth your time to check them out because these often burn your hair less and cost big bucks. I think there's uh, fake vintage. Yeah, those ones in that box, yeah. I gave it a glance. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that a nifty little hat, guys? <laughs> Dang, I just bought another fire TV stick. Oh, this one's sealed. We could use another one. <laughs> Actually, how is that shaking around, though, if it's sealed? This is the cheapest fire stick on the market right now, but we are keeping this for personal like use. Resale. Only resells for about 20 bucks new in the box. Because it has a little strip you have to peel. If I had my car, more stuff would be bought. Actually. Right. 
Actually, I'm going to buy this and put my stuff in it. I found me a basket to put my stuff in, so that oh, gives me an go. excuse. I was going to pass, but I changed There's my mind. Another cute basket I brought in there Man, there's all kinds of cute stuff. It is. What is it? Hey, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> if that's new, you can probably sell that for like 10 bucks. Oh, it's extra strength. That's just what you need, Paul. I really don't know if it would sell for 10 bucks, but it's kind of expensive in the store. What's cool? Yeah, I want to think what they're, they're very modern. It's like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby? Like, I think. They're, I mean, yeah, I think pretty modern. Like oh, is that? Is that? That's the Columbia symbol right there, isn't it? Yeah. Most of the stuff here reminds me of Pure One Street. Oh, look at these. Uh, what, with the turkeys? 86? Don't be shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to snag these two. Look at these. Look at these with etched, different etched birds on each oh, one. Cool, yeah. yeah. Like I, I had one similar that like I had no band on. Uh -huh. I put it on my whatnot. It's over like fourteen dollars on whatnot. It's just like the weirdest stuff. Uh, what is this called? Like um, a cake pan. They're normally not. Some of the copper ones are decent, but I don't know about that one. I'll have to look it up. You can tell they have very different pricers though. I thought, when I first saw that Pyrex, I thought it said 25 cents, and I about pee peed myself. you do some yard work. I know I'm scared to leave my pal out here too, girl. Okay, she's all. Okay. The ones I brought have yeah. oh, oh, Sorry, I'm trying to get to my pal right here. Oh, I think I just saw something. I think they're just still bringing stuff in. See that, Tula? Hello. The last one of these I sold went for 70 bucks. This one has a little bit of marks on it, but that is a good pickup right there. Yeah, go. you're gonna be like, what? Um, there's a price for all the pictures on the wall. Let me go see what that one is. So, one of you ladies check me out with my pile over here? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Now this basket did not have a price on it. I don't, if you want to do five bucks like that one, that's fine. Okay. So we got ten with the two baskets, and then we'll start putting stuff inside. Okay. Ten dollars on the fire stick. A two. Two. And we got 75 cents. This has a price on it somewhere. Hang on. One of these coasters had the price. I thought. I swear it said $1.50 somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I believe you. This, I think, did not have a price on this carrier. Baby carrier. All right, well, thank you, ma'am. Do you need a bag? I'm going to put it in the car. Uh, 750? Okay, that's all right. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, $4. And we got another $4 on this right here. I think I have so messed up. Hold on. Okay. I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I had a problem doing it on my phone too on that calculator. <laughs> I got right, 49.75. Okay. 
She's, she's very famous with YouTube. Oh, are you? I'm six million subscribers. Oh. I do not. Do not listen to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, we will believe him. Um, <laughs> they're about to get your autographs and stuff. And like, I'm like, who are you? Because my daughter follows a YouTuber. I do have 30,000, but not <laughs> six million. <laughs> Okay, there is 60, and I owe you 50. You don't have to worry about the quarter, or whatever the change was. 49.75? And I gave you 60. Okay. I don't need the quarter, though. I'm jealous of those baskets. I know, I'm so happy. Like, my whole house is this kind of stuff. Thank you all. Excuse me. Like, if you see stuff like this, you should definitely pick them up locally. Hang on, look at all these bags. Oh, I didn't see that. Quick glance, quick glance. I'm not gonna lie, guys, she killed me at the first stop. Absolute murder destruction. <laughs> you have to go so fast, so it's stressful. Like, I'm already sweaty. <laughs> but I just, like, those Imaginex characters. Woo! Massimo. Awesome, you know Massimo? Apparently I was pronouncing wrong the whole life. That looks fake. It's fake. It actually... Really? The leather shop in the front looks really like fake. It's because it's the gloss pattern, but oh. see, okay, the coach is perfectly lined up. See how it's identical on both sides? That's normally your number one way to tell it's fake if the C's are offline. See how that's perfectly identical? Oh. Every real bag will be like that. But yeah, this actually looks 100% real. This is and that, so if it has a signature on the outside, the inside will always be a solid. That's another really, like, that's pretty legit. But it kind of has some stains on it. What's that? No, they really are not. Okay, okay, I'm good. I win. <laughs> I already said that. I had to say it myself. <laughs> if you tell one more person that I'm famous, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I I spanked him, y'all. <laughs> How much did you spend it? Forty nine dollars. And like both of these you could flip locally so easily, but I'm probably keeping it for myself. Oh, they're cool. Yeah. Yeah, once I thought about that, I was like, actually, I don't have totes, so I might as well. Oh, God, that's heavy pull. Oh. That's the one with the bows and stuff? Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. I got Things the light ones. <laughs> I feel like this I one's empty. I feel like a terrible human being. <laughs> <laughs> they were both the same way. All right, stop one pitch of the beaches is in the books. Yes. So that was the first official sale of Peaches to the Beaches. I did not want to even add another yard sale to this video because this yard sale was so good. I didn't even know how good it was until I got home and realized this might have been one of the best yard sales, at least that I can think of recently that I've been to. Well over $700 and my mind is like blown. You guys are not going to believe those coasters, but first, let's just talk about a couple things. I showed you all almost everything throughout the video. I feel like I'm with like a, have like a lean right now. So I just want to show you all really quick how to identify these little Imaginex characters and give just a couple tips. You will often see the big Imaginex houses. There are like a hundred different ones. Most of them are almost impossible to sell. They're not worth picking up. Uh, oftentimes, if characters come with the houses, I will just pass on those. But loose Imaginex characters, that is where your money is at because somebody's kiddo always wants these extra pieces that are oftentimes sold with sets or sold separately. All these tallied up $145. And we have sold quite a few Imaginex sets in the past. So on the bottom here, if you notice, I can't see that far. Is that an octagon? I think that's a hexagon. So you will notice they almost all have that little hexagon shape on the bottom that they snap into something with. Uh, all the new age ones also have this little eye, obviously that stands for Imaginex. 
Now some of the older models like this, for example, will have just the little circular shape on the bottom and they will just be marked Mattel. Imagine X as a whole, they're all made by Mattel. The new age ones often have that eye so they're much easier to identify. They are always articulated. Arms and their legs will move. They often ride something or shoot something. They're pretty cool, pretty well made little toys. Pretty much every single character you can identify by using the Google Lens app or the little camera on your Google bar on your phone. Some people do not have to download the app to access this. So on my iPhone, for example, there is a little camera in the corner that you can just tap. Then it will run your picture over every image on Google and it will tell you exactly what your character's name is. You then take that character to eBay, type it in, and you can get an exact idea of the value. Everything else I pretty much showed you all throughout the sale, but the real winner of that sale, it's hard to believe with multiple 80 and $100 finds at that yard sale that these coasters were the best find. I did not know what I had. I was thinking 20, 30 bucks, but check these out. So these are etched and each one has a different type of wild game. They're all, they have the artist's name and the year 1986 on them. Look at this turkey and we've got some geese. So there's only one listed online. Actually, it's not listed. There's only one that has sold, right? And this is the listing for the sale. A best offer on $425. When I saw that, my mind was instantly blown. I could not believe it. I was over here sending a picture to my buddy Paul, the Philly Flipper, um, who was with me in this video. And of course, he immediately goes on the hunt to find out what they actually sold for. So if you pull up Terra Peak on eBay, it will show you sales over the span of the last year. And not only that, it will show you the actual amount amount that the item sold for, not the original best offer price. So these coasters actually sold for $225. Yeah, I said $225. Like who would have thought? I mean, I know they're amazing. I knew they were gonna be valuable. I think I just gave myself a chill when I already know how much they're worth. But my mind was literally blown by this. And the crazy thing is, this was literally the first stop of the day. We were in this cell, I wanna say about 27 minutes according to the actual time on my GoPro, right? 27 minutes. And all of these sales add up to over $750. The $10 for that fire stick, that went to the teenager. So $39 and to over $750. I counted $50 for each of those baskets, though I am gonna keep those for myself. If you all follow me though, you know I'm not afraid to ship a basket. If I will ship a three foot lotus lamp without any problems, a basket is not going to scare me. If you didn't already watch my last video, I made over $500 at a sale that started a day early before Paul even got down to Georgia. And before anybody else says anything about gas, I drive a Prius and I get 40 miles to the gallon. If you all made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you all so much. Be sure to head over to Philly Flipper's channel and see what he got at this sale and watch his perspective of this journey. We both have a very different eye. We both picked very different things. It's funny because he was posting on his Instagram story that he was crushing me like a grape but he really didn't know what I had. And um, I don't think he can beat this, especially at one sale. I think you guys can see who the real winner is here. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you all today. Thank you all so much for watching and be sure to come back for the next one because there's gonna be so many more good sales on this Peaches to the Beaches road trip.